Y'all get ready. Yes, you get ready. Latest news in the streets. Join us and tune in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sell your friends and your family. It's the lovely TV show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely TV show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe. Nia Long and Ime Udoku, uh, Udoka, they have broken up after 13 years. So this is all over the blog. Y'all laughing at me. Uh-uh, y'all not gonna be putting trucks in the chat talking about where's Agent Matt. Uh-uh, y'all are a mess. Agent Matt is around here somewhere. Shout out to Agent Matt. He's been busy. He's been on the road and stuff. <laughs> um, so let me go ahead and play y'all this video about Neil Long. Now, the thing that's really kind of crazy with this whole situation concerning Nia and Ime is the fact that they have been together for 13 years. They've been engaged for about seven. And this is why I always say, don't let people play with your time. We're not getting younger, okay? Time moves forward, okay? There is no quantum whim for us. You have to move forward. So, you know, these long engagements, remember when Jennifer Hudson had the nerve, her and, and David engaged for 10 years? Like, you're gonna either shit or get off the pot, okay? And that goes for the person in the chat. Don't be trying to propose to me via chat. I'm not going to be waiting here another 10 years, okay? But yeah, like, you know, this is a shame. Like, she she was engaged to this man for seven years. Now, people saying that Neil was the one who didn't want to get married and all that stuff. But if you're not even wanting to marry the person that you're engaged to, at some point in time, there's a, there's a breakdown in the relationship. And I think the disrespect that he showed her to me was just, it was just, it was sad because Nia Long is so unproblematic. You never, I mean, she's been in the game for years. You never hear any mess about her. She don't have a, you know, a August Alcina on the side, okay? She's been living her best life being a mother and a wife and for Ime to just, you know, basically disrespect her is disgusting. So let me go ahead and um play this video here. Give me just a second to pull this up. Because they have made it official at this point that they are breaking up. Ime Udoka are going their separate ways. <laughs> ET confirms the couple have officially split following months of speculation about their relationship status. He's a coach in the NBA. How do you guys work everything out? A lot of patience. Me and Ime were together for 13 years, and they share 11 year old son, Kez. Yes, and the news comes as they navigate the fallout of the NBA coach's cheating scandal. Back in September, their relationship was thrown into the spotlight. The investigation had some twists and turns and took some time to develop all of that. Ime was accused of engaging in a consensual relationship with a female member of the Boston Celtics staff, breaking the franchise's code of conduct. We will make a determination at a later time uh, about Ime's future uh, with us. In the end, he was suspended for the entire season. Ime offered a public apology. Quote, I am sorry for putting the team in this difficult situation and I accept the team's decision. He added, quote, I want to apologize to our players, fans, the entire Celtics organization, and my family for letting them down. And I think we have to ask ourselves, are we a part of the problem or are we a part of the solution? And Nia, she broke her silence by sharing this cryptic clip to Instagram. As that light that you see, you know, you see the happiness, but understand one thing about that light that they got. They had to go into the darkness to get it. Nia later told ET in a statement, quote, the outpouring of love and support from family, friends, and the community during this difficult time means so much to me. Above all, I am a mother and will continue to focus on my children. Everybody has to define their relationship for themselves, especially when you're both working and you have busy schedules. Fast forward over two months later, Nia slamming the Boston Celtics. Speaking with The Hollywood Reporter, the actress says the most heartbreaking moment came when she saw Kez's face. After the basketball team's president, as Mia puts it, quote, decided to make a very private situation public. And to escape the media blitz, Mia reveals she took Kes out of school. Quote, it was devastating. He still has moments where it's not easy for him. 
you can be a working mom, be there for your kids, and still be the artist that you are. Mia also says she's leading Boston to move to L.A. with Kez and Masai, her son from a previous relationship. Women are super women, but we also have to recharge our batteries. I've learned, especially in this COVID time, to really examine how I'm balancing my work home life in a different way. And amid the scandal, Mia claims no one from the Celtics has ever quote, called to see if I'm okay, to see if my children are okay. It's very disappointing. Okay, let me come on the screen here. So I, I, I'm kind of disappointed even with his apology. He apologized first to, you know, his teammates, you know, the other staff, uh, the Boston Celtics, the fans, the mascot, uh, the parking attendant, the trash man, the janitor. Why was Neil last? Why was his his fiance of seven years, you know, his baby's mother, his his girlfriend, why was she last? You know, I just I, I find the whole situation just insulting. And then you had a lot of people excusing this like, oh, well, you know, everybody cheats. Well, yeah, a lot of people do cheat. Let's keep that real, um, especially, you know, in those high profile jobs. But it's like everybody had an excuse for a lot of people had excuses for him. Well, what about the other coaches? What about such and such? What about this? Well, no, we're not talking about all of them. We're talking about him right now. OK, he's the one who got caught up. Somebody snitched on him. I don't understand why they're protecting the Becky. I do agree with that. If this is consenting and they're both adults, why is she being protected? They both should be out here shamed. You know what I'm saying? Now, a lot of people were saying that uh, Nia Long, that the Boston Celtics, that it's not their job to reach out to her. They don't owe her any type of explanation. She better take it up with her, you know, with her man or whatever. But let me explain something to you. The Boston Celtics, somebody should have reached out to her because they had no problem blasting this mess out publicly, right, to publicly embarrass her and her family and her children. The least they could have did was reach out to her before even going public or at least checking on her. Because what folks don't understand, when you're married to somebody who works for the organization for the franchise, a lot of y'all don't know this because your man is a fry cook. So if he gets fired, it's no big deal. Um, if y'all decide to leave and move across town, it's not a big deal, right? When you are partnered with somebody in an organization like the NFL, NBA, it is a big family dynamic. If they call him tomorrow and say, hey, we're trading you from Boston to Chicago or LA, he has no choice but to up and leave. A lot of times they have to uproot their life as the wife. The kids have to uproot their school, teachers, everything. It is a big family organization. So if they can call to say, hey, we're going to have him coaching in San Antonio next year. You need to start making, you know what I'm saying, plans to move, find a home, find a realtor, sell this home. They could have just as easily called her to let her know about this. And that's what she's saying. But people don't understand that because they don't understand the dynamics. Just because your man and his boss have no type of relationship, it's very different for these franchises. Because at any time, these families are uprooted with either the athletes, the coaches, the staff. So they, they did. They owed her better. They owed her better. She's been a part of that organization for years. And I'm pretty sure she knew the lady. Lady probably smiled in her face. You know, just like with TJ Holmes, it came out later on that his wife and what's the, the Amy, they were cool. They knew each other. Their kids were on play dates. TJ Holmes was cool with Andrew Shue. They took pictures together. They all like double dated and kicked it. Like what kind of trifling stuff is that? You're in my face. You're setting up play dates, but you're sucking my husband's peen on the side. Make it make sense. See, at that point, now we're going to have to fight. I'm sorry. At that point, the rock nation in me is about to come out. It's one thing if he's cheating with the, you know, the, the side chick on the street and I don't know her personally, never met her. But the fact that this woman has been in my home, my kids done play with her kids. We done double dated. We done like TJ, you trifling as hell. Super trifling. So yeah, I don't I don't feel bad for Ime at all. I'm glad that Nia Long has finally decided 
to stop being a, a, a <laughs> what is that called? A struggling fiance. You know what I'm saying? It's not worth it. Don't let somebody waste your time for seven years. He wasn't serious. He wanted to have his cake and eat it too. So I, I think, you know, at this point, she was better off moving on and hopefully she'll find somebody who wants to be with her for her and not just as a status symbol. Because I feel like that's why he was really with her because it looked good. It was a black love, power couple. You know, Neil Long is a very famous actress. She's beautiful. You know, it was a good look for him, you know? And sometimes for people, it's about a good look in public. But behind the scenes, it's a whole bunch of fuckery going on. So good luck to, uh, to Nia. Good luck to her on that. If you want the latest news in the streets, join us in tune in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity, so sir, your friends and your family. It's the Lovely Tea TV Show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the Lovely Tea TV Show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe.